Hey, I'm Jan. I'm a guest on the Online Prosperity Show today, and we're talking about how you can leverage WordPress to not just build the first foundation for your business, but to take your business to the next level and to make sure that you've got a rock-solid online platform. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got Jan. Jan, how are you doing, my man? Doing very well, Prosper. Thanks for having me. Very well, thanks. Now, Jan is a young entrepreneur from Germany, and he has mastered a craft that a lot of us really need to know. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, you first of all need a website, and after you need a website, you're going to need a blog. Now, there's a lot of platforms that you can utilize, and Jan here has specialized with the WordPress platform. Now, WordPress is, just, is more than just a platform for you to build your websites on. It's actually a tool that you'll be using to convert your visitors into leads 24 7 all right so our show here is basically to help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable so if you're using the right tools using the right plugins and actually using the right thing you can actually build a platform that is going to be building and growing your business in a sustainable way now Jan, did i say any of that right absolutely 100 percent I think the, the best feature about WordPress is that um, it works for you 24 seven, 365. So you set it up once, you, you spend the time on the strategy, like how you get people onto your website and what you need to tell them so that they, they learn to trust you and see you as an expert. And then once that process is in place from getting people to your website to building trust with them, to getting them on your email list, to scheduling sales calls or whatever, this process is working constantly for you. Understandable. Well, obviously, everyone that has started a business, the first thing that they were told before was to have a business card. But now everyone is now being told to have a WordPress website, okay? Yeah. Now, it has become a, a, a crowded and noisy place. How then can somebody really stand out from the noise and how does... Um, you know, you and your mastery come into play to help people have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So what my agency and I do is we set up websites for companies all over the world, basically. And what we always tell our clients, it always starts not with the technical side, not with how the website looks, not how many plugins you're using. It starts with the strategy behind the website. So you need to be very clear about your target audience. Who is it that you are serving? Who is it that you want on your website? And then you need to figure out when those people come to your website, what questions do they have? What type of content do you need to provide on your website so that they see your, your business as an authority and so that you can start promoting whatever you have to sell to them? So many people we talk to, they get uh, intimidated by all these technical terms like web, WordPress hosting and WordPress.org versus WordPress.com, which are two entirely separate things. And all the, the, the theme aspect, like choosing the right design and choosing the right plugins and making sure the website doesn't get hacked and all that stuff. And we almost always tell them to take a step back and map out a strategy, what type of content, what pages they need on the website, where to put the opt-in forms so that they can build an email list, um, where to place contact forms, where to place the phone number of your business, whether they need an e-commerce site, like selling physical products or selling digital services or whatever. So it all boils down to the strategy in the beginning, and then you can start thinking about choosing the right theme and making your website look good. All right, so now that we've got the theme in place, is there a difference in who I choose as my host? Oh yes, oh yes, there's a huge difference. and. The difference um, for the one time is uh, what's very important is the, the customer support that you can get with your web host. And usually if you start with this very cheap web host like Bluehost and GoDaddy and all these $2.99 to $3.99 web hosts, um, they are good for the beginning, but they're not good for a serious business because your website in the first hand isn't very fast on those pages, uh, on those web hosts. So the web host you choose has a huge impact on the loading time of your website. And the other problem that you will likely face is that their customer support isn't that good. 
compared to hosts like WP Engine or Cloudways, where you do pay more. So uh, Cloudways is what I prefer for a web host. And it's a bit technical to set up, but the customer support is amazing in helping you with that. And you, you pay like $17 a month just for the hosting, and then you need the domain differently. But it's so worth it because when I moved all my sites to Cloudways, the loading time instantly decreased by 100%. So it went down from four seconds to two seconds just by moving the web, website to Cloudways. And that's, that's quite impressive, I think. Understandable that, yeah, because if your website loads up in time, it does create, you know, a perfect user experience right there. Absolutely. Right. So now we've got the hosting, we've got the theme going on. Um, should we worry while we've cho chosen the person who's going to be hosting that website, should we worry about security? Absolutely. And that, that's another common misconception that I see very often is that people think I'm just starting a blog for my small business or I'm just a personal blogger and nobody's going to hack me. That, that's kind of the attitude most people have. And what they don't know is those hacks, they don't happen with a human sitting in front of the PC and searching for your website specifically. Those hacks happen automatically, like, like uh, programs and software are scraping all websites constantly 24-7 and they know how to identify an outdated WordPress website. So if you don't have the plugins installed, those hacking scripts will notice it, and then they run automated attacks against your website, regardless whether you have zero visitors a day or 10,000. Understandable. So with that security, is there a <laughs> plugin that you can recommend that people can use, or is there things that people can actually do to their website to lock it or so that you know it's not um, vulnerable to to, to uh, attacks. Absolutely. Um, the first and the, the most important thing is to have a secure password. So don't use please, please don't use the admin account. Don't use admin as a username for your website. It's it's like an invitation to get hacked. Um, use a password that is not in any dictionary. So I usually recommend a tool called LastPass or 1Password or whatever, like a password manager that gen generates these really long passwords, like 20 characters, random number, special signs and, and characters. And um, what this does is this, auto or this prevents the biggest attacks, the most common attacks, which are uh, so-called dictionary attacks. So scripts, what they do is they have text files with tens of millions of possible words in, from dictionaries all over the world, like any language you can think of. And then they run every word in this text file against your website. And they try to find a combination of a username and a word from that password file that works and gives them access to your website. So by not having a password that's in any dictionary, you're basically safe against those dictionary attacks. Um, obviously, it should have a sustainable length. So uh, WordPress has this really nice password indicator when you are choosing a new password in the backend. It shows you how strong the password is. And please always make sure that it's green, that, that it shows you you have a strong password. And then the second step is always keep your, keep your site up to date. So install WordPress updates, install the core updates, the theme, the plugin updates. Um, regularly so at least i would advise every two weeks to install those updates and make sure you have a backup in place before that so in case goes something goes wrong you can use a tool like blogvault.net or a plugin called backup buddy that you can use to automate backups of your website so when a plugin update or a theme update messes up with your website all you need to do is to bring back that backup, which user, usually is just a few clicks, and the customer support of those plugins can do that for you. And then you have your website up and running again. Understandable. So right. So, so backup is really important, like you say, in, in, you know, to make sure that just in case an attack happens, you still have a backup on yeah. your site that you can still revert back to. Yeah. 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 Just, just imagine the worst case scenario. You wake up one day and the website isn't working and you've spent probably six months to a year to building that website and creating all these blog posts and building up these sales funnels on your website and just perfecting the website basically. And then you're waking up and everything is gone. It's like, how, how, how bad would that feel? Yeah. 
That's so <laughs> we're putting in the hours and you know, and yeah. then somebody just hacks you or something like that. Now, maybe yeah. somebody is watching this show right now, Jan, and is super in, interested in getting to know more how you can help them. Can you just walk us through, you know, your process that you help when a customer knocks on your door? Um, what do you help them with and what sort <clears throat> of outcomes are they to expect? Absolutely. So what we usually do with our customers is we get on a Skype call or, or a physical meeting if it's in Germany, and then we assess their current situation. So we walk them through a questionnaire, basically, of what they think they want and what we know what they need. And we try to match these two parts together. And then our designers, usually if it's a, a complete website redesign or building a new website, our designers create custom designs for those websites. So we use a theme called Avada as foundation, just to save time and not to have to code over and over the same stuff again, basically. And then um, based on that theme, we are creating custom designs for every one of our clients. And we record the uh, screencasts for them so, so that they can manage the website on their own when we're finished with the project. Because we, we truly believe in growing with our clients, but not having uh, our clients being dependent on us. So if every client knocks on our door because he wants a text change or something like that, that would just be a waste of our time, right? Yes. And this, or we educate our clients uh, after the project is over and after we finish building the website and the website is up and running. Um, then we obviously have maintenance plans for them. So we handle security and tech stuff and that, all that stuff. But we also educate them on how they can use their website and we help them by uh, taking their internet marketing strategy to another level with their new website. Understandable. So um, once somebody has all of that set up, um, what will be the next step? Do they need a blog and how do you help them setting up a blog? Yeah, so a blog we think is uh, a vital part if you are into content marketing. It, I don't think that it's necessary to have a successful business to run a blog because you can do a lot with paid traffic these days and just drive traffic to landing pages or to maybe like three to five blog posts or something. But um, Currently, our own business is growing without a blog. So on WP Mastery, my own website, I didn't write an article for the past six to seven months or so because I'm just too busy working on projects. And that, that's kind of an experiment as well because I grew up in this online world with uh, thinking that blogging is mandatory. But what's mandatory is, is that people start to trust in your abilities to solve their problem. And the blog is one part to do this. So... The blog, when you're beginning, is a great way to get free expo exposure, basically, and to write about things you really know what you're talking about and that you're an expert in. But once you have a sort of a platform built, I think blogging becomes less important because then you have uh, this platform in place already and you can start going out to people and talking to people and building relationships and then always refer them to your blog that is already in place and maybe publish an article once or twice a month. Understandable. Well, this has been fantastic, man. You are very knowledgeable in your work. And um, obviously it does show that you actually do care for your customers when they do oh, yes. um, come around. Just in case somebody's watching this um, video right now and is really super keen on getting a hold of you and how um, you know, they can maybe start working with you. What's the best way somebody can get a hold of you? The best way is uh, through my website, wpmastery.xyz. There's a contact form in the menu and I'm checking all my emails uh, every day. So I'm cleaning up my inbox to inbox zero every day. I don't miss any email. Understandable. Well, thank you so much. And if you've been watching this show and now you know you really need a website so that you can actually start growing your business so that it becomes profitable and enjoyable. Your business is like your storefront where your customers yeah. are going to be checking in every uh, minute where you are probably uh, doing other things, serving um, other clients face to face. So if you're going to be thinking of starting off a website, WordPress is more than just a platform for you to build a website on. It is actually a tool that you can start using to convert those visitors onto your website into leads and eventually customers 24-7. Yeah. And you need experts like Jan to help you navigate through the noise that's already on the platform by using the right plugins, using a good theme. You can actually build 
from that platform and grow your business in a very sustainable way. Thank you so much, Jan, for spending time with us today. I had a blast, Prosper. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.